for a lot of black fiddlers, um, musicianship and professional musicianship was a pathway to freedom. You know, you could earn money and potentially purchase your freedom. Of course, for Northup, um, playing the fiddle is what got him enslaved. I want to ask you what part of the country you come from. I originate from Canada. I guess where that is. Oh, I know where Canada is. I've been there myself. Well, travel for a slave. Solomon Northup is an expert player on the violin. That's how he got caught. He was hired to be um, a professional musician for a touring circus by some out-of-town folks who came in and uh, pursued him. And um, in the process of uh, that venture, he was nabbed. Um, never really clear, um, you know, whether or not it was the folks who hired him who had designs all along. Well, boy, how you feel now? My name is Solomon North. I'm a free man. And you have no right whatsoever to detain me. You're no free man. You're nothing but a Georgia runaway. And so his fiddling and his um, role as a performer made him vulnerable to this pursuit. Right. That's scripture. The condition of your laborers, it's all wrong. They're my property. You say that with pride. I say it as fact. Um, but also his fiddling um, did shape his experience of slavery and I think did contribute to his ultimate um, emancipation. It certainly contributed to um, he had a kind of status, even though um, he was um, still very vulnerable to uh, violence and in some ways particularly targeted because of his uniqueness, because of his literacy. You come here. I say come here! But on the other hand, you know, as he says in his own words, he was able to travel beyond the plantation where he was enslaved and meet people and do things and go places and purchase, um, you know, a, a pipe and um, pots and pans and um, comforts for his life that otherwise he wouldn't have had access to. So it did offer him a degree of economic mobility, social mobility, and I think certainly, you know, he wrote very passionate, passionately about um, the emotional reprieve and the support it gave him, being able to, uh, you know, he lost everything. He lost his family, he lost his home, he lost his livelihood, he lost his freedom, he lost his name, but he kept his musicianship, and, and that sustained him through that tremendous ordeal.